Welcome to my first tutorial. Um, I'm pretty excited about this one. I feel like it was filmed well. I'm hoping my explanation was decent and I hope you guys can follow along. Um, in this video, I show you guys how I make my butters. I give you guys my formula. I just spill it all. So in the next clip, it's gonna be me making my butters and then after that, I'm gonna go into a little, I wouldn't even call it an explanation. I kind of just talk about the differences between body butters and uh, lotions. So yeah, I hope you enjoy my little tutorial and whatever you want to call it <laughs> so the first ingredient that we have is shea butter and it's made out of nuts from the african shade tree it's high in vitamins a and e and it also contains a lot of beneficial fatty acids this is the one butter that i found keeps my skin very hydrated all day long but it doesn't leave me feeling extra greasy the next ingredient that i have is sunflower seed oil and this is an amazing source of vitamin e it has a lot of nutrients and antioxidants and it's also really effective for combating skincare issues like acne, inflammation, uh, extreme dry skin. And sunflower oil actually has emollient properties that help the skin retain moisture. And last but not least, we have arrowroot powder. So I actually like to put arrowroot powder in because it helps get rid of that uh, greasy feeling that body butters are known to leave. But arrowroot actually does have some beneficial minerals and vitamins, uh, zinc, iron, potassium, vitamin B6. All of them are known to help relieve uh, skin irritation. So that's why I like to add it in. So I'm actually giving you guys two different formulas. Uh, the only difference is the second one has fragrance oil. Not everyone likes fragrance, so here you go. All right, so let's get into making it. So you're gonna wanna grab your scale. Uh, I'm gonna have everything linked down below so that you know where I get it. You want to weigh out your shea butter. Finally, mate. And then you're going to want to weigh out your sunflower seed oil. Once you have all of those weighed out, you're going to want to put it on a double boil. If you don't know what a double boil is, it's a pot with water and then you just place your bowl on top of it so that the steam uh, from the water melts the ingredients. You want to keep an eye on your body butters while you're melting them because if you melt them too much, then that can make your texture become grainy. But once you're done that, you're going to want to place it in the fridge, let it cool off, and then you're going to want to begin mixing it. While it's mixing, I like to add the arrowroot powder in. I forgot to film that, but just know while it was mixing, I added it in. So I actually whipped up a different size batch, but I poured out what I did weigh out before, if that makes sense. No peace of mind. We never thought we'd be so I weighed that out and then this is optional, but I'm choosing to do it. I'm adding in fragrance oil. I personally only like to add my fragrance oils in at one to 2% because I don't want it to be too strong or irritating for the skin. And then I also like to add in mica. Again, all optional. You do not need to do any of this. I also do have a body butter on my website that is just these three ingredients. It has nothing else. Once everything is all incorporated and mixed very well, I place it into my piping bag and then I pipe my butters into the jars. And that is how I make my very simple but very beneficial body butters. This can be tweaked in so many ways. If you guys want to see me make another body butter that has like three different butters and a bunch of different oils just to see how I spread out the ratios, I'll happily do that. So I hope you liked that video. Now I'm just gonna get into explaining the differences between a lotion and a butter. I have my laptop here. I'm recording on my laptop. Sound, hello. Sorry, I hope this is like ASMR. <laughs> I have my laptop down here, so if I'm like looking down or something, it's cause I'm just reading some notes that I have. Um, I do know everything off the top of my head. I just don't wanna give you guys any wrong information. So let's get into it. So to start off, um, a lotion is water and oil emulsifying to become one. Um, that's why it does not leave your skin feeling greasy, it dries faster. Uh, a butter is, for the most part, it's just hard oils, butters, and liquid oils, melted together and then cooled and then whipped. So the main difference is that body butters don't have water. But some body butters do contain water and um, the whole emulsification process. I don't do that. My skin is just extra dry, so I need extra moisturizer. <laughs> and I've noticed that whenever I use anything that has water on my skin, my skin just sucks it up and is drier than ever. So yeah, I've been using my body butters only and I haven't had any issues. So you'll notice that when you use a body butter, it feels, I keep saying greasy, but I don't mean to say greasy. It's like a balm, it feels balmy. There's like a layer on your skin that sometimes absorbs fast, sometimes it doesn't, depending on how it's made. But 
that's what it's supposed to do. Body butters create like a protective barrier on the skin. So that's why I like to use body butters, especially during colder months, because the wind, the cool air, just sucks out any potential moisture that my skin could have. So I'd like to use that as a protective barrier and a moisturizing barrier. That's pretty much all there is to the difference between a lotion and a body butter. Sum it up, lotion is water and oil, body butters are just oils. And now I'm gonna kinda get into different ingredients that you can use in a body butter. Like I said a little earlier, if you guys want me to do another body butter that has like a bunch of different ingredients, so that way the, the recipe is a little more complicated and like I can explain that to you, happily, I'll do that. There's a lot of different butters that you can use. Um, a lot of the popular ones are shea butter, cocoa butter, and mango butter. Those are very common butters to use. Um, and there's some other oils. I only use sunflower seed oil, but you can use grapeseed oil. A lot of people like to use coconut oil. I don't, none of my things have coconut oil. Jojoba oil, avocado oil. There's a long list of things that you can use, but those are just some of the basics and some of the most common ones. Another thing that I would like to add is that because body butters are so heavy on the skin sometimes, I like to use my body butters at night especially because when you're awake doing things, you touch dirty things, you touch your face, you touch you touch a lot of things and I feel like the body butter just rubs off. Whereas at nighttime is when your skin is like in repair mode. So when I put the body butter on, I feel like maybe I'm a little crazy, but I feel like I wake up softer. Like my, my skin, my face, my body, everything just feels so much softer. And again, I could just be crazy and like placebo effect, but I genuinely feel like that's what happens. Yeah, I hope you like this video and subscribe if you want more, comment if you want me to make anything. I do make scrubs. Actually, I do make lotions as well, the, the water and oil emulsification. I have a facial moisturizer that I use, anything. If you guys want me to make anything, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to give out some more formulas or if there's something that I don't make that you want me to try making, also let me know. Um, yeah. Oh, also I'm gonna be linking everything down below, everything that I can link that I bought off of like Amazon, uh, where all my ingredients are from, all that fun stuff. So I'll be linking that down below. So feel free to check that out and stay tuned for the next video. Made up my mind, I am heading on. Oh, Mr. January, will you arrive wearing your song?